In this video I am going to show you a new variable type and it is a boolean. In the variables file I create a new variable. It is allow as free listing. The type is bool. The description is allow listing as free buckets. Now I should go to main tf, scroll up, and here I have the effect allow. I will write here many spaces, and right here I am going to write a condition. It will be var allow as free listing, that is this one, and if this variable is equal to true, because it's a boolean, it can have two states, it can be true or false. So in case it is true, I will put here question mark, it will return allow. In case it is false, I put colon, it will return deny. So if allow listing is equal to true, the value will be allow. If it is not equal to true, the value will be deny. Let's test my changes. I open the terminal. I write here Terraform apply. It is asking me for allow as free listing and I write here true. I press enter. It's going to do several things. The first thing, it is going to delete policy number zero and policy number one because in the previous video I created two policies, but right now the default value is zero, so Terraform is going to delete it. And also it is going to replace the policy string because in the previous video I provided another description. Right now it takes the default description and it means the policy will be destroyed and replaced by a new one. About the policy JSON, it is not here, so Terraform in the terminal doesn't show me the policy JSON, we cannot see it, so I just write yes, we will check it in the AWS browser. It was deployed, one resource added, three destroyed, go to AWS, I refresh here the page, open policy string, I refresh the page to see the new, per the new description. So the description is description for policy string. I open the JSON and I see here allow. It is because I provided here true, that one. It was the true value and it returned allow. Let's test it other way. I will write false now. I clear the terminal. I run Terraform apply. It is asking me for allow as free listing. I write false and see what is happening. It's going to change the effect from allow to deny. Why? Because it is not equal to true, so it will return deny. Only one item to be changed. I write yes. It was changed. Go to AWS. Refresh the page. I am in the JSON in permissions and I see effect deny. That is how it works. Open VS Code, go to git changes, open main tf. I accept the change. In variables tf I also accept the change. I write the commit message, edit bool input variable. New line input variables commit and it was committed.